So I'm on the road again. And I just got through doing about, I don't know, five or six hours. It doesn't come out. Being like that when part of the time is spent getting from point A to point B, getting gas, stopping and getting coffee so you don't fall asleep behind the wheel, things like that. But I was thinking and uh, some things came to mind because when you're on the road, at least when I'm on the road, it's like a form of meditation for me. There's so many things to distract you, but there's also so many things that you can keep in order, like speed, gas, other drivers, lane changes, being in your lane, being out of your lane. I don't do a lot of rubbernecking. But it reminded me of these two incidences slash situations I found myself in out of many others being on the road. Um, one time when I had my SUV, I was driving down this 55 mile per hour highway and it was right after a snow most of the snow had melted and was gone and there were like traces here and there patches here and there and uh, I had pulled away from the pack because they were all going kind of slow on a almost like a nine lane highway with three or four lanes off on the side with a concrete barrier between us and them because of the fact that those were the exit lanes that you had to get into way before the exit and they do that in this area so people won't make like eight nine lane exit changes and uh, it was when I had my four door Chevy Blazer I think it was a 98 SUV and I was driving down the road and I saw this like five foot six foot long hunk of ice in the road just out of nowhere. I mean, the whole road was like clean, clear, and then all of a sudden there's like this long slick of ice. So I call myself changing lanes to avoid it because it's pretty tall too. It was almost like a foot tall and I didn't want to hit it. So I tried to change lanes, but it didn't work. And the weirdest thing, I hit it and the truck just went into it. I don't know what you call it, but it wasn't 360. It was a little bit more than 180. So what do you call that? I mean, I was facing sideways. I had spun completely in a circle to end up almost facing back in the same direction that I had been driving, but I was like a quarter of a circle off facing sideways and this was in my SUV the thing didn't flip or anything that's why I say guardian angels because that 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 SUV spun almost completely in a circle just by trying to avoid this little iceberg in the middle of the road I spun in a circle and come to rest sideways traffic was coming up on me and everybody everybody stopped and kind of slowed down and the, the the SUV actually cut off too so first thing I did was start it back up and 
right the truck and start heading back south. And that was that was a crazy. I mean, that's one of the craziest, one of the craziest things that happened to me while driving. The other was, and and I can't remember it was the residuals of Hurricane Andrew or Hurricane Katrina, but the residuals of a hurricane came through here. And once again, I was in that 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 Blazer SUV and. I was on the outer loop of the highway uh, headed west and there was, again, it was like seven, eight lanes of traffic and we were all headed west and there was an overcast and it had been raining and the wind had been blowing and it was just crazy outside. Uh, there had been a lot of rain, a lot of high-speed winds, and I'm driving in the second-to-last lane toward the inside. So I got like five lanes, maybe, to the right of the truck, and there's people on. The right hand side of me and there's one guy to the left of me in the last lane a little bit behind the truck to the rear and all of a sudden this huge tree with this ginormous canopy it looked like something out of a Godzilla movie the thing just started falling down straight across the highway, across the lanes. I am not kidding. The canopy landed right in front of me. The only lane that was open was the guy to the left of me. And I'm watching this tree. I guess it was root rot or something, or maybe like it was it was planted bad. But this that thing fell over almost seven lanes and there's like this big huge knot in it where they cut off a branch and there was a lady beside me to the right in a uh, one of those uh, family vans and uh, then there's a guy that was behind me to the left and I mean everybody slammed on brakes man everybody and I slammed on brakes and I tried to stop and I couldn't stop I mean I was headed straight into the canopy the lady to the right of me disappeared into the canopy I, I saw her and I looked in my mirror to see where the guy was to the left of me and I just floored it I just slammed my foot on the accelerator and just cut left and cut him off and went flying down the highway and and I made it. I made it without getting like slammed into the canopy and uh, went on down the highway. I looked behind me and there was just nobody coming through. I mean, the, the, the tree had blocked off the entire freeway. And then, I, I can't remember if it was that night or a few nights later, it was on the news. And they said that this lady hit a knot in the tree and it went through her windshield and killed her. And that was the lady right to the right of me. So, Lord knows what could have happened to me, because, I mean, I was, I was marked to go in that canopy, and thank God, like I said, guardian angels, man, I couldn't stop, so the only thing to do was full acceleration, and that, that, that 1998 Chevy Blazer, four-door, that thing kicked in. I think that thing was an eight-cylinder. 
and it kicked in and it just tore down the highway and we were on wet road but I had a full we were doing about 60 something like that and uh, cut that guy off didn't hit him didn't hear his horn nothing just tore down the highway but the poor lady next to me in that minivan man she hit that elbow and she was on the news that thing went through her windshield swallowed up her minivan and killed her and I could have been next I mean I could have hit I don't think I would have hit that the the knot because I saw it it was it was about three and a half foot in diameter and I saw it right in front of me off to the right and you could see the tree billowing and branches moving and limbs moving and stuff like that because of the wind and it fell and, and, and did a bounce and maybe I would have hit a limb or something but I wouldn't have had a, that I was living in that SUV so that was my home my bed was in the back my clothes were in the back I used that to go get work on set different movies uh, go to work security at a dance hall I mean that was like everything all my papers were in there all my my clothes were in there my bed everything was in there so if I had to hit, hit hit that tree I wouldn't have had any place to live or sleep that night I'd have been out of luck thank God I didn't but those were definitely two unsettling and incredible episodes that I that I've seen on the road face to face I've, I've driven down the road like there was one hurricane hit the area and everybody closed down went home but there was a uh, tree blocking off one of the main roads I didn't see it fall, but I definitely saw it blocking off the road. But I could drive around it over the small skinny branches in the canopy to get on up the road. So I've seen stuff like that. But I've never seen anything like this before, where a tree is just falling down right in front of me. And, and I've got like seconds to act. And my first reaction didn't work. So, thank God I didn't freeze because, I mean, my second reaction worked, saved my life. 